Chapter 1, The History of Aloe Vera. We start with the location of the more than 360 species of aloe, shown here in the red area. The island of Socotra, right off the tip of Somalia, played a very important part in the spread of aloe, because that's where the aloe that we use today was thought to have originated from. That island has a fascinating history. Socotra was described by the Greeks when Alexander the Great was planning his invasion of India. 330 BC, Aristotle handpicked people from his hometown to live on Socotra and harvest aloe plants. Extensive caravan routes allowed the spread of aloe throughout the known world. For example, the Silk Road, which included both areas in land shown in red and water shown in blue. Notice that the Silk Road goes right through the island of Socotra. That was one of the stop-off points for carrying different spices and herbs. Aloe has developed a reputation around the world as a model medicinal plant. It was a top-selling product in 2010. 2200 BC, Sumerians recorded the use of aloe for medicinal and healing purposes on clay tablets. 1550 BC, detailed descriptions of aloe's medicinal value were shown in the Egyptian Ebers Papyrus. Documented uses include arthritis, gout, acne, dermatitis, headache, high blood pressure, indigestion, and hair loss. Rheumatoid arthritis, peptic ulcers, mouth diseases, puritis, psoriasis, and burns. What's fascinating to me in the literature is different areas of the world came up with the same uses. And a lot of these people didn't even know the other people used it for those same indications. So it has a long history of proven uses.